In order to address some of these issues, uh, these authors uh, whose reference I gave in the beginning have suggested the ecosystem perspective on F HRN. What is the ecosystem? Ecosystem is a interaction of several variables which has input, which uh, take input through certain process and which has certain output. Ecosystem are always made up of or we can say a ecosystem, an ecosystem is always made up of a small ecosystem which is part of the larger ecosystem. So, ecosystem here refers to a group of interacting yet semi autonomous entities that depend on each other's activities and therefore, are somewhat hierarchically controlled. This is the uh, model given by these authors, which suggests that intermediary platform firm has exchange with requester, gig worker, exchange takes place in all these three players and on the platform ecosystem, HRM uphold the multilateral exchange and multilateral exchange is shaped by HRM activities. What are the HRM activities? human resource or workforce planning, recruitment and selection, training and development, performance management, compensation and benefits. So, uh, these activities still take place even if in the gig economy firm there are practically zero full time employees. So, we they, they do have full time employees in their Airbnb office or Amazon office or uh, Uber office, but that number is much much lesser in comparison to the number of drivers Uber has or number of the delivery boy or number of the restaurant being enrolled uh, with the Zomato. But there also even pertaining to the requesters, they use certain HR activities in the different shape and different form. And that not only helps in upholding the multilateral exchange, that also is shaped by multilateral exchange. So, ecosystem approach is very useful, because like any ecosystem, this ecosystem the gig economy firm if considered ecosystem also is constituted of certain entities that include at least gig worker, requester and intermediary platform firm. Second, the three entities make up an ecosystem, because they interact to supplying labor, demanding labor, matching labor supply and demand while remaining semi autonomous entities. And thirdly, exchange among gig worker, requester and intermediary platform firm are characterized by interdependence and multilaterality. So, the whole system can flourish together or uh, sink together. We can take example, we can understand this ecosystem with the example of Uber. When Uber driver withdraw from the Uber ecosystem, there is a limited value created for the passengers. So, for the passengers, it is a value diminishing act. Contrary also hold, when passenger stop hailing taxi driver or taxi rider via the Uber platform, Uber drivers will not reap any benefit, as there are no earnings to be made. Ultimately, the value to intermediary platform firms also depend on the ongoing contribution of gig workers and requesters. So, therefore, ecosystem actors are said to be complementary in nature. The activities of one, co one ecosystem actor do not function and provide limited value without the action of other actors. So, value creation requires constant fruitful functional interaction of all three entities and the entities can increase as the uh, complexity is increasing as the technology is becoming more and more sophisticated. We are seeing multiple entities in any uh, uh, online platform uh, system, which constitutes the gig economy form. 